The Wilbarger Protocol, another great program I love. This is for children who have tactile issues. This is for the kid who you always have to cut the tags off the back of their shirt, um, or maybe the child that can't touch a new um, tactile kind of uh, thing. Maybe it's sand, maybe it's grass, maybe it's shaving cream if you're doing, you know, paintings, maybe it's paint. Um, you know, maybe they even have issues with new textures of food. Um, the Wilbarger protocol has two. They have an oral protocol and they also have a brushing protocol. Um, I'm careful when I say the word brushing because a lot of people call it brushing. It's really not uh, brushing per se. It's used with a uh, surgical brush, yes, but it's a particular technique that is done. Patricia Wilbarger um, came up with this uh, really very brilliant lady. Um, Basically, it's used with deep pressure to the skin on the arms, back, legs, hands, and feet. And again, they use a special uh, surgical brush in a specific manner. And again, it's followed by joint compression, and you do it every two hours. So you do a particular way with the brush. Um, it's a particular method. And then right after you're done with the brush, um, then you, do, you follow that with joint compression. Um, and then you do this every two hours while the child's awake. Um, we did this with my son, and just saw huge huge results and uh, we were very um, we did it very much on track though I mean he was at home so we easily could set an alarm and do it every two hours um, if you want to learn more about Patricia Wilbarger and her protocol I would go to um, uh, avanti-ed.com get more information uh, her daughter um, I believe her name is Julie um, also does um, this protocol um, and uh, they just do great work. The one thing I want to definitely highlight is I've been around a lot of um, people and I love OTs by the way, absolutely love occupational therapists, but I've been around some occupational therapists who claim to know this protocol and I actually took Patricia Warbarger's course myself from her and her daughter and um, so I, I was sitting in you know their workshop for several days and actually you know they come and make sure that you're doing the pressure right and you know test you test it out on them and everything I've been in other places where occupational therapists will talk about this program but have never taken the program and they kind of tweak it a little bit um, and then I hear parents will say the Wilbarger, Wilbarger protocol doesn't work um, but to me I know I've done the protocol the way that Patricia Wilbarger um, you know trained me in and I have to tell you it did work and even um, her oral protocol really helped um, and I'm not going to talk much about that but definitely find somebody who knows um, that protocol but when people say it doesn't work I think it's because they're not doing it per her uh, you know uh, uh, oh I can't speak sorry by, by her um, I guess uh, rules um, she has particular you know kind of a protocol that she does and if somebody changes that up um, you can't then say her protocol didn't work if they're not doing it per her uh, uh, specs, right? Uh, she has a way she wants it done, and, um, and and not only does she have a way that she trains and wants it done, but she has loads and loads of research behind it knowing what works and what doesn't. So if you are working with an OT who um, you know claims to know this protocol, I would ask to make sure where she was trained, has she done a workshop recently, um, did she um, get trained by Patricia Wahlberger or her daughter and, um, and making sure that they do the joint compression and exactly how the protocol was meant to be. So that's enough, I guess, on that particular um, therapy. But again, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, tool to know about. Um, the ALERT program is honestly another one of my favorites. I think all of these are my favorites, but um, ALERT program, love, love this program. I love um, the two women who developed this program. Um, they are just wonderful people, Mary Sue and Sherry. Um, they are brilliant when it comes to uh, sensory integration um, techniques and really um, giving us tools and techniques on how to help self-regulate. They are absolutely wonderful. If you've never gone to a sensory integration workshop, I would highly recommend parents, professionals, grandparents, I don't care who you are, go to their workshop. The best um, sensory integration workshop I've probably ever been to where, I mean, my body was excited throughout the entire time. They really get um, how we're feeling and they really get our kiddos. 
um, they do um, you know something called uh, how your engine runs and they really measure it if your engine's running low if your engine's just right if your engine's too high um, a lot of kiddos have issues with attention deficit right either ADD or ADHD our children on the spectrum are having issues with that as well they have some really wonderful tools that can really help with that um, they're the ones who say set our kids up for success instead of failure one of my favorite um, taglines that they say makes so much sense um, they do a lot of fidget toys um, they have specific strategies to help our children self-regulate and again especially in uh, school environments but very um, easy to transfer over to the home environments as well like I said they have something called how does your engine run and um, they also uh, have a workbook called take five which is so awesome it has all these different um, uh, games that you can play and activities you can do that really have the child um, figuring out how to self-regulate um, definitely definitely check out their workshops and also go to their um, website alertprogram.com just an amazing amazing uh, program and these women are a wealth of knowledge um, I would definitely definitely recommend looking more into them um, especially if you um, have a child in a classroom and you really need to get more strategies uh, to help that child self-regulate in the classroom. I believe every OT should take their workshop and again I believe every parent should as well because um, it is just one of those programs that you will walk away knowing more than you ever thought you would. So um, again that's the alert program. Uh, the Handel Institute, another really great program. Um, uh, it definitely has a lot of workshops um, and hours that you put in for those who want to be uh, trained and certified in it, um, but a really great concept uh, to their program. Uh, the, it was founded by a woman named Judith Bloomstone. One of the best things I think you can do with this program is read her book, The Fabric of Autism. She um, is now passed, but she, really neat lady. Um, she really got sensory integration because she had a lot of sensory um, issues herself and um, she really could relate to kids in a way and, and adults and anybody of any age in a way that a lot of people couldn't. Um, they do a lot of exercises where they use both the right and the left brain um, in the hemispheres of the brain. Uh, they basically believe that you stop the activity with the first sign of stress. Um, they believe that uh, you know, basically, it's the the entire makeup of the entire body, not just you know one thing that's happening. They're thinking it's the digestive system, the digestive system, the visual, the auditory, the social, the lifestyle, the hereditary, the toxic environment we live in, including stress. They look at internal and external environments. Um, they really look at the entire kind of um, big picture of things. Um, again, great, great program. I would definitely um, look into that, if nothing less than to look into the book, um, The Fabric of Autism. And if you're lucky enough to find a provider, um, definitely um, I would uh, look into finding out more tools and techniques from them. You can go to handle.org and find out more information on them.